Hello, this is Pastor Jones. I want to spend about five minutes with you today. We've been on the subject the last couple of weeks about how or what is the prescription for happiness. And first two devotions talk about the things that we don't want to do. I want to talk to you about the things that we need to do in these next couple of devotions. I want to start out by saying this. The first thing that you need to do to be happy is be helpful. Ephesians 4 and 32 says this, Be ye kind one to another. Go out of your way to do good to somebody about you. In other words, look to be the good Samaritan because there's always somebody in need that interjects himself in your life and you need to be the blessing. Secondly, be wise enough to accept help from other people. Nobody can accomplish everything by themselves. Every one of us have our failures, our faults, our downfallings. My friends, to become independent in our spirit drives our friends from us and ultimately will not be very happy for that. Thirdly, be a gentleman or a lady at all times. Well, that's a, a mouthful in this day and age that we truly live. Treat an elder as a father and the younger men as brethren, the older women as mothers, the younger women as sisters, 1 Timothy 5, 1 and 2. This is the mark of Jesus Christ in your life. Jesus was a gentleman, and we need to be the same. Number four, be quick to congratulate that individual that is deserving of it. Don't be miserly with your words of accommodation, of gratitude, to those that are deserving. You want people to pat you on the back, pat a few people on the back and bless them. Number five, avoid flattery. It is the worst form of deceit. Proverbs 26 and 28 says, A flattering mouth worketh ruin. Friends, people who count, are never taken in by insincerity. So don't dish it out. Number six, keep your promise, even though at times it may hurt. Psalms 15 and 14 says that God honoreth him that sweareth to his own hurt and changeth not. Your neighbors respect the, the dependable person. Are you a dependable person? Andre Crouch wrote a song years ago. He said, Lord, you can depend on me. I pray we can say that to the Lord and to our neighbor and to those sitting with you in the pew. Number seven, cut your language down to size. Ecclesiastes, or excuse me, Ephesians 4 and 25 says, Speak every man truth with his neighbor. Make your language as honest as your bank account. Let's never display any degree of dishonesty or wrong. Number eight, banish sarcasm. Proverbs 12 and 18 says, There is that speaketh like the piercings of a sword. But the tongue of the wise is health. In other words, watch your words. My wife and I were walking out of the store the other day, and a couple of women walked, walked by us. Filth coming out of their mouths. That's the kind of society we live in today. I refuse to watch it to the best of my ability on TV. I certainly don't want it surrounding me in everyday life if I can avoid it. And I never wanted to come out of my mouth. My friends, let's watch our words. Let's be careful about the things we say because it can pierce and wound and cut and hurt those about us. Watch your words. They either can wound or they can heal. And I'm choosing to heal today. I pray you are as well. We'll pick this up next week. I hope I've given you something to think about. See you then.